Hey guys, Contrast out here with another Diablo video. So this video I'm gonna show you my round, what I do for the pets. I'm looking for goblins specifically. Also looking for one chest in Act 4 Tier 1 for Falcon Wings. I always do this first, just go to Act 4 and get this over with before I do my goblin set. So what I'm gonna do is go to Tier 2, second tier. You're gonna go over here and find the level, the first tier here. And you're just gonna go through it. You're looking for that awesome chest that I haven't found yet. So, what you wanna do is move as fast as possible and just look for that chest. There's a chest, see if that's it. Nope, not it. Oh well. I've seen a lot of videos where the chest is over here, but I've yet to I found a few chests there, but not the one that we're looking for. It's random through the whole level, so you make sure you calm the whole level to see if you. If, hopefully, it's around here somewhere. So far, I've done over 15 runs, and I can't find a chest, so I obviously confirm no chest. So then I go to Act One, and my run is Old Ruins. Head to old ruins and then you follow the path. And you go up here and just follow your nose. And high percentage goblin up here. Past the hut. Sometimes, like, I found a goblin here before, but I always check it. Nope, not there. I'll just continue going if it's up. Go over through the gate. Of course, this is venture mode. And the pass is where you want to be. This is. You're just going to hear the goblin if he's here. Let's see. Nope, don't hear him, don't see him. Not here. Darn it. Uh, after all ruins, you're gonna go to Festering Woods. It seems like it's a high percentage to have goblins here. So what you wanna do is go find an edge and then start combing around it, listening for goblins. I've gotten uh, two new ch pets today by doing this method in about five hours maybe of total gameplay your favorite YouTube series or something like that in the background it makes it more entertaining so far I'm not finding a goblin unfortunately afterwards you go to southern highlands on average run I find at least two goblins so this is basically, you could either take the ro up. Oh, already found one. There's a goblin. There we go. We got one. So there we go. I used to follow the road, and if I can't follow the goblin, like we found it in seconds, I comb the edge here until you find a goblin. If a goblin, if you find one goblin already here, you have to just. I usually just kill the mobs around me, and then hit northern lands. I always check this corner. Lately, I haven't found any in the corner, but they've been over here, on the near the road. So far, I've only found one this run, which is rare. All right, so continue on up to the other part of Northern. There we go. Another goblin for you guys. It's a decent run so far. It's two. And you see that kind of nerfed it, only 19 million gold. So once you find a goblin in an area, you it's, it's highly unlikely you'll find another goblin in that area, at least in my experience. The caverns. Once in a blue moon you get a different quest and kill the stupid queen. And it's when you go open up the eggs and goblins can spot from there. And I'm pretty sure you can get the goblins that drop the, the pets. So, the last place I would check is probably Royal Crips. It's small and you can run past everything pretty quickly. Check the little corners here. I found them here. I found them up here. And sometimes you find them over past this area. Rarely you'll find them over in the corner here, but I haven't found one of those in a while, so hard to click these gates. There we go. Doesn't look like you're going to see one. No. Unlucky. Okay, so none here. If you haven't found at least two, I would say Field of Misery. Unfortunately, the downsides, it is so large, so it takes so much time, so it might be faster just to 
do that circuit without the field of ministry. So what I find best is just to find a corner and follow it. If you have sound loud enough, you can hear the goblin feasts within X amount of yards, 50 yards, 55 yards, etc. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. We're on fire. All right, so there you have it. This is my rounds I do for searching for the pets. And I've found the lady so far. Found a spider, Charlotte. And I found this badass. And I found the stomach, which is probably my favorite. That's just disgusting. It's, it's freaking awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this little goblin slash falcon farm running guide. It also can be pretty, you can do it on normal if you want. Have it tested and see if there's more goblins on lower, but I think it might be the same RAM generator, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this, and more importantly, if you want to see future content like this, subscribe. Control Style out. Hey guys, Control Style here with another PTR build. This is Crusader Evoker set. When you hit an enemy with slash, punish, or block an attack, your thorns increase by 35% for 2 seconds. Once you see this build in action, you'll get more of an understanding of how it works. I'm using hack, rolled off damage for cooldown, and attack speed. Those are the 